Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about servant leadership in this presentation. Servant leadership. Exactly if you hear the term for the first time, it becomes very ambiguous. How can one be servant? How can one be leader at the same time? Come, let us explore what is meant by servant leadership. The agenda for this particular presentation is basically very simple and straightforward. It is uh, hardly a 20 minutes or the presentation. It will we'll talk about what exactly is servant leadership? How did it imbibe the product? What is the history? What are the background? What are the essential features and characteristics of certain uh, servant leadership? I will also dedicate a few slides on paradoxes thereby and probably we'll go with the practices. The practices, there are many examples that is there about the companies. Probably, yes, definitely, yes. But I, I will uh, try to... Uh, probably not con concentrate on the examples of the company and I will like to finish up examples of servant leaders uh, who are in existing existing probably or in work been in their history books so let us proceed with this particular presentation on servant leadership so introduction wise why why servant leadership why am I so interested in being passionate about servant leadership now this is where we need to understand all together there are there are experiences with servant led organizations an organization which is which supported servant leadership one organization indifferent to servant leadership one organization opposed to servant leadership and very different results altogether so why what exactly has been servant leadership does actually organization believe in servant leadership probably there are many organizations in fact let me give it to you a hint that all service organizations are service servant leadership for fundamentals that they are following around it people who are indifferent to servant leaderships are into the production and probably they are working into a next company let us understand personal practices though it is a very soft and a touchy feely kind of scenario learned it was the most difficult most rewarding challenges did it the right myself did it wrong myself you need to answer this these question what happened was good or what happened was bad or being through pain absolutely or trying to spare others let us look into the proceedings as the case might be Re recognition support and rapidly growing let's see the adoption was the gap of awareness the understanding remains in the technology management let me take it to you forward as the case might be seeking to close this gap let us validate our audiences now let us understand who are adults and who are children if you seek personal fame and fortune believe me um, i am not sure is this this is the right presentation that you should be walking or if you are ego stroking again probably i don't think you should be married to this uh, leadership fundamental things management style at the end of the month let's say if you seek such kind of management style well the end of the month is always about the bottom line the profitability the revenue seeking probably again servant leadership is not your cup of tea leadership shortcuts again probably this is wherein you will have result but you will not have result in a very short duration it will be a longer term duration that comes around it being quick and being easy see so those who are, who are such kind of person as in who are interested in personal faith who are ego stroking who has got management style of the book leadership shortcut quick easy fix this particular presentation absolutely is not your cup of tea and probably you might actually skip it but then who is it for this presentation who will be interested to be like a servant leadership the best way to serve your organization people who are interested to serve your organization optimal leadership for your organization sources of authentic leadership greatest challenge of your career if you're going through it if it is most rewarding effort of your career that you ascribe to it being a sustainable result oriented humble relentless and commitmently leadership if you have these qualities yes let us proceed with this presentation you will make yourself mark if you follow the ideals of servant leadership so let us understand the brief background and a brief history about what exactly is 
leadership. You know, the glorifying example that I've come up, come across with it. We have the 600 BC, the Lao Tzu, the uh, ancient Chinese uh, legend. You know, the greatest leader forget himself and attends to the development of others is what has been said. It, mind you, I'm quoting somewhere around 600 BC, Lao Tzu from China. Let us come to India, somewhere around 375 BC, Chanakya Arthasastra. The leader shall consider as good, not what pleases himself, but what pleases his subject. Again, a origins of servant leadership, the satisfaction, the happiness, the smile is not on the face of the leader, but on the follower. I will talk about Jesus, the first century AD comes around it. The greatest among you shall be servant as says in the Matthew's verse, uh, verses of 23-11. The one who is the greatest among you must become like the youngest and the leaders like the servant. Absolutely, Jesus Christ himself told these things all together. Uh, let us come to the uh, most relevant terms nowadays. 1970, Robert K. Greenleaf says, the servant leader is a servant first. It begins with a natural feeling that one, one wants to serve and so first as the case might be now these are the moment these are the time these are the course these are the leaders who have sown the seeds of servant leadership principles way back in our history and let us proceed with it so is being a servant leadership all about being of services or being servant so definition of servant let me go around it before i come from the definition of services one who serves and does services voluntarily or on compulsion a person who is employed by another for menial offices or for other labor and is subjected to command a person whose labor or exert himself for the benefit of other his master or employer a subordinate helper if you want to go across it that is what the definition of servant or should i say a very easy example of servant a person in the service of another Another example is the one who expresses submission, recognition or debt to another. Another example is a person, or another definition, sorry, is a person working in the service of another. Another definition is a, in a subordinate position, a person who is hired to work for another. Now, these are various definitions of servant. Now, let me highlight the definition of services. The definition of services is an act of assistance or benefit, basically a favor or an act of helpful activity let's say to help or to aid the, another definition of service would be work done by one person or group that benefits another person or another group another definition is the performance of work or duties for a superior or a servant similarly the last definition that comes around it a definition of services is b of services b of some helpful usefulness meaningfulness to somebody else that is what service is all about it so let us we have understood the definition of servant service now let me bring you the definition of leadership now as a leader is a person who does things that leads or should i say a guiding or directing head as an army movement or a political group the one who leads or guide one who is in charge or in command of others one who heads a political party or an organization one who has the influence of power, especially of political nature, a person who improves or a guides or inspires others, a person who is in front or probably goes first. So these are the various definitions. Remember, a leader is the head of a, anybody as of a tribe, clan, people, person, family, who has an authority, who directs the work of others. So I have given you a definition of service, services and leadership in this particular presentation let me give you the 1970s green love definition wherein in his book he said the servant as a leader the servant leader is a servant first it begins with the natural feeling that one own wants to serve to serve first then conscious choice beings one aspires to lead the person is sharply different from the one who is a leader first so basically start from being a servant and then eventually leave contrary to what actually happens is a person who wants to lead in the very first instant the best test and the difficult to administer is do those served remember serve the person who is receiving the services grow as a person do they while being served become healthier 
wise or free are more autonomous, more likely to be themselves to become servant. And what is in fact the least privileges in the society? Will they benefit or at least not be deprived of the other? And that is what has been talked about it. Let me give it to the 10 characteristics of leaders altogether. We are talking about this characteristic which I've taken it from our own Greenleaf's book. They are listening, they are empathy, healing, awareness, persuasion, conceptualization, foresight, stewardship, commitment to the growth of people, building community as the case might be. Now these are the essential 10 characteristics mentioned by green leaves. Again, to understand you, let me recount it. One being listening, two empathy, three healing, four awareness, five persuasion, six conceptualization, seven foresight, eight stewardship, nine commitment to the growth of people. And the 10th and the last one is building community as the case might be. So characteristics break out, break out of the servant leadership. If you look into it, I have done nothing but I've given as a servant and the leaders and fragment is those 10 characteristics, three being exclusively to be becoming a servant, four being exclusively to becoming a leader and there are three as in stewardship, commitment to people and building which are in between the leaders and servant, uh, servant. They can go ascribe to any of these pointers. That is what has been done in this particular so let us have the servant characteristic the first three that I wanted to go around with listening It is basically active not just passive 360 degree top from the bottom and the servant does nothing But listen before deciding in terms of empathy It is separating the person from the work altogether Do we empathize upon it walk a mile in the shoes personable with appropriate individuals next would be healing help your staff becoming whole consider the history Build a future together as the case might be. Yes, we are talking about characteristic breakout. This is the three dimensions that we talk around it. I have said about the servant. Let me tell about the leaders and the servant leader concept altogether. Now we'll talk about the leader's characteristics, which is all about awareness. A leader is ambivalently aware of what exactly ha is happening in and around. Probably the leader is also not only sensing, but probably able to predict the futures also it is all about the awareness is all about himself herself and the organization the follower sharply awake and reasonably disturbed is what Greenleaf stated so in terms of persuasion now this is the quality of leader where is opposite to the first position authority convinces and probably build consensus very very quickly conceptualization is what we are looking forward to at times what happens which is uh, being very smart as as the case might be what we are talking about here what what we are talking about here the uh, bhag but smart now what is bhag would be a big hairy audacious goal that comes around it people who are uh, absolutely audacious goals absolutely out of out of the reach uh, but definitely smart smart being specific measurable attainable realistic and time bound making time for strategy so we should be conceptualized which is big hairy audacious goal we should be very far-fetched but definitely attainable at the same time foresightness is what we are looking into it as we are working as of today and probably able to predict something in the future let's say in five ten years time we have those characteristic breakout now this the third dimension which comes around it the three concepts of servant leadership stewardship is interested with resources you know to the others with the others because this is where we need to look and build upon the return on investment commitment to the growth of people yes hunter says green and growing or ripe or dying as the case might be if you can grow if you can allow your leaders to grow if you can allow your followers to go if you can allow your supporters to grow nothing like it it's a win-win situation everywhere not just your favorite then comes building community which is all about effectiveness and camaraderie that comes around it definitely yes we are talking about the characteristics break that comes around it. I had stated at the very beginning of this particular presentation that I would love to visit a few paradoxes for you to understand as to what are the various things that comes around with servant leadership. Yes, 
the mere fact that the servant leadership is a point term and it is paradox it is a probably it, uh, not everybody can take it at the one one gulp the moment you say it is a servant leadership that we are talking about it so it is mired with paradoxes so what are the paradoxes leadership that requires a constant balance between being great or being without pride being planned or be spontaneous being compassionate or be disciplined everything being planned and uh, working together being right probably saying you know what if not right but if i say i am wrong there's nothing wrong in it many at times there are situation there are position even leaders believe me or not are are a human in nature and to err is human is what the famous saying going around it being serious enough to laugh probably are you been always been serious are you don't never laugh are you always been wise or you at at times falters at times are not able to comprehend the situation are always busy or been uh, listening being strong or been open to change leading or serving as the case might be i'll give you the examples of the balances paradoxes are not easy to balance never the never the less i would love to cite certain examples for you great enough to be without pride now team gets the credit you get the blame as a leader you get the blame so great enough to be without pride next comes on compassionate enough let's say compassionate enough uh, must be soft set high expectation and follow three that is what compassionate enough but not to discipline right enough to say i am wrong leaders make mistake to admit they are human as i said so wise enough but admit you do not know you may not have all the fixes at your disposal find out quickly but probably do not mislead busy enough to listen beware of the busy manager they do not lead absolutely they do not lead at all they are always managing you know a busy manager if you go to a uh, with a problem to a managers will not be able to solve your problem but i will assure you that that problem that work that problem will not be able to mitigate but if you take a work to that particular manager the manager is always busy he will ensure if it is within his ambit he will get it done no matter how big the work if it is doable it will be get it will be get done all together so greatest paradox is leading enough to serve focus on the organization humble probably no ego no pride god knows are you can you be humble or can you be without pride uh, without any ego again different paradoxes emphasize the role of others in success do you do it probably not accept responsibilities in failure do we do it again not constantly seek opportunities for improvement probably again not because we get comfortable in our comfort zone roll up your sleeves not every now and then only when there is a sizable threat probably we all roll us roll up our sleeves stresses that is best for organization not a few and things like that be it the 360 degree support listen to the stakeholder no job too big no job too small participate listen build consensus to lead not manage and far more this is what we come around in in practice how do we it, it translate into it what happens in practice in a real world things you look at the organization now in a traditional organization if you see it out here the chief executive officer is the commander then comes the chief information officer or the chief financial officer is the management and i have please take it with a pinch of salt that this particular slide has been made for a hierarchy for for the audience to understand what is a traditional organization is all about it we can have an the people's officer cpos we can have the cxos and so on and so forth then comes the labels and the operations and the people working in the finance accounting we are looking everybody in development and so on and so forth so this is the traditional organization so primers versus or inter peers the cxo cso and cxo now this is a flipped organization that comes around it now wherein the shareholders at the top the management the middle and the staff having the greatest context what has happened with it is exactly the staff has become numbers in terms of number they are more the management is more or less the same thing and the shareholders is a minimal number of person that comes around it so flipped pyramid who has the power and what should it be done you need to let me know and what exactly it is to be proceeded along with it so team performances let us align the hr practices to their servant leadership modus operandi 
job description of a non servant leader approach it's an objective being command and control created once revised only during turnover written by hiring managers each time every time now this is the job description of a non servant leader approach what happens with the job description of a servant leader approach objective which is mutual understanding dynamic in nature and reviewed annually initial draft by employees as the case might be performance standards let us understand the performance standards the servant leader's approach is to meet my performance objective this quarter i must initiate what employee initiate manager reviews servant leaders must ensure staff does not take too much too good all the time as they should the case is not let us come to the very fag end of this presentation what are we talking about we are trying to develop excel muscle what is excel is servant leadership muscle now how do we build up those muscle how do we add flex our muscle all together i will give you 3 f's 3 f's for your servant leadership development which includes foundation feedback and friction step 1 being foundation which is all about training research and mentoring understanding what is expected step 2 is feedback it is your 360 degree feedback on the servant leadership gaps paired with measurable action plans to close gaps as the case might be this is what we are talking 360 degree am i sure that everybody is getting it step number 3 and the last step is friction required specific measurable attainable realistic and time bound objective what i want to give it to you is a smart objective is our objective which can be numerically represented in answer to a panel or an advice on a performance against an objective so this are the three steps to your servant leadership muscle i again repeat foundation feedback and friction these are the three step that comes around it with it i will give you the example before i wind up this particular presentation i am sure most of you want to stood remember i said i uh, uh, said that examples i have deliberately not given you organizations who follow the servant leadership approach please all of you can google it out in fact i have given you cited enough examples wherein if it is a service organization only successful service organization which embodies the servant leadership approach will make it at the top bracket rest all will perish for example in the historic servant leadership one of the glorifying example is mahatma gandhi from india jesus of nazareth everybody knows around it martin luther king junior from usa the one who went on to ravage a lot many traditional rules and laws and of course the very own mother teresa who was a living legend during our span of time as a case might be with this words i am winding this presentation on servant leadership i am sure you have understood it is neither servant nor leadership is the way you going to upgrade your followers that's the only way to imbibe servant leadership qualities in yourself thank you for watching this video